What up, YouTube? The patch is out, and I'm gonna show you, show you, showcase you the new content. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna go into the new factory, show you a bit of the new map. We're gonna shoot some Uzi. We're gonna shoot some Desert Eagle, um, the caliber that is uh, 50, 50 uh, AE. The bullets for the Eagle are actually quite decent. And the best one is FMJ. It has um, 85 damage and 40 penetration, which means you can easily one-tap any level 4 helmet. And probably one-tap, maybe double-tap level 4 armors in the chest, which is quite nice. And uh, there is a new headset that's been added called Liberator. Um, different headsets have changed, so right now you have should you, should you should try all the headsets and see which one you like better, because they sound different to the previous wipe. I'm going to show you how the new zoom system work. So, let's get into the raid without wasting any time. Alright, we are in a new factory. This is daytime. It looks much darker than it used to be. Some of the textures were changed. So, it will take a while to get used to it, I guess. This is the main area. And uh, this is where the outside um, of the factory is. It's looking good. Looking good, buddy. Making YouTube video showcasing factory. So, I'll show you the main area and um, some of the outside. Also, there is way, way more tunnels on factory now. You can go down um, through the staircase into the tunnel area. And it's g just generally much bigger than it used to be. Please no, dude. Alright, so this is the new office area with a safe. And you can even you can even look outside if you want to. Alright, so this is the outside of the factory. The area is not really that big, like this is it. That's the whole area. You can't really go anywhere else. You can enter either through here or through the window. I think the window leads to the main area. Right here. So, let's check out the new guns. First of all, we have Uzi that shoots in uh, 9mm. The RPM is really high. 1,700... Uh, 1,075. And that's how it feels. I am not going to control recoil whatsoever, so just going to let it go. Alright, and now we're going to crouch and I'm going to control recoil a little bit. It's quite decent, really fast. Now let's use Deagle. ADS is quite fast. However, recoil is huge. So if you do spray the Deagle, you better crouch and you shouldn't spray a target that is way too far away. So, that's how it goes. Speaking of the variable scopes, all the sides that you can zoom in, you can still do fast, uh, fast zoomage, 1x to 8x or whatever the max is. And if you use Alt and mouse scroll wheel, you will zoom in slowly. This is how the new system works. I think this is going to give a new life to a lot of different sites, especially the ones uh, that nobody was using before because they were way, way too long range. And also there is a new mechanic of leaning, leaning on the wall. Let me show it to you. So whenever there is a corner that you can peek and there is like a decent wall next to it, you come close to the corner and you press... Hello, Tequila. And you press V, and this is what this is what happened. All right, back to the tutorial of using V. If there is like a wall or something next to you, you can come close to it. You press V, and this is what happens. Your guy sticks to the wall. The angle is not really good, so if somebody is pushing you, it's. I mean, I don't really know how it looks from third party, th third person perspective, but the angle is very, very small. So if you do use it, you probably should use it on uh, targets that are further away. Um, 
and it does reduce recoil and uh, it improves the time at which you can ADS. So here you hug the wall, for example, you're waiting for somebody to push this corner. Uh, as you can see, my stamina is going down slowlier than um, if I'm ADSing without leaning to the wall. And the recoil is different as well. So right now I am not sticking to the wall. Right now we stick. Recoil is supposed to be better. I am not sure if it's going to feel much different. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit better. Like 10, 10 maybe 15% better. So, yeah, feel free to try this feature out and tell me, tell me what you think about this. Also, I would appreciate a thumbs up for me actually showcasing the new stuff. Um, so you can watch it and enjoy. Also, there is new grenade animations. Whenever you hold your nade, the hand extends further than it used to. And your guy chucks the nades lower than he used to. So if before I would want to chuck the nade right there, I would aim like this. But right now I have to aim much higher. So to do the nades as I used to, I have to aim much higher, bro. So I would aim like this now. So another addition, uh, if you do play FT Arena, this is going to be a very, very, uh, very fast action. They BG added uh, customizable presets, so you can make your own presets. You simply select the gun you want to play with. You buy it. And then you can modify it. Same as in Tarkov, you can select any attachment you want. For some of the attachments, you need to be high level in Arena and you need to spend rubles on it. But generally, you can assemble any gun you want. You can equip any armor you want. Everything will be unlocked. You can literally make your favorite kit from Tarkov and uh, play Arena with that kit right now. All right, now we're going to go through the patch notes and I'll talk about small, small changes. So first of all, if you hold G, whenever you are in the raid, you can select which nade to use. Uh, same as with the max, same as with the heals, you hold G and you use your mouse scroll wheel to select which nade you want to equip. Um, so yeah, let's go through the patch notes. First of all, I showed you the guns. Yep, I showed you the new factory. So new boss, partisan. Basically, if you play unfair, if you play ready, if you camp exits, your PMC karma will go down and partisan will hunt you on uh, maps with woods. So I assume woods, shoreline. Lighthouse and maybe Customs. Partisan is a friend of Jaeger and generally that's all we know about him. And if you play fair, if you play active, your Skev Karma is supposed to go up. That's all we know about it so far. Right now in the main game there is an event called Marathon. So if you go to the main game, let me do it. Uh, you can do map to map travel. You have to stay in the raid for at least 7 minutes in order to be, to, to be able to travel to the other map. And uh, once you come to the taxi, you need to select a, an option to travel to a different map. And uh, then you get in the car and it just loads you into a different map, I guess. I haven't seen it myself yet. Right, so basically while we were recording this, the game died. It doesn't let me into PvP. Everybody's game crashed. So we're just gonna go through the patch notes. I won't be able to show you the marathon event. But yeah, it's basically like using the Uber to scav as a PMC into another map. And you're gonna spawn uh, in another map. <coughs> during the mid raid for the players that were originally there. I assume so. Uh, also, if you visit all locations in one raid, you will get a marathon achievement. Tripwires. Tripwires are a single-use consumable. You have to finish a new Jaeger questline to get them. That's the only way. You cannot find them in raid. You cannot um, craft them. Only get them from the Jaeger after completing the quest. So, uh, they can be activated in a couple of ways. If you shoot uh, at the wire from a distance, if you hit the wire with explosive shrapnel or if somebody steps on it. At the same time, if you see it, uh, you can disarm it. You come close, you crouch, there will be an option to disarm it. And if you have a multi tool on you, uh, the disarm time is going to be lower. So if you do have a multi tool, put it into your slot and use it. Bipods and weapon mounting, I've showed it to you um, in the previous section of the video. New hideout zone, gear rack, basically you will have mannequins and you'll be able to dress them and with the click of your fingers, transfer gear from mannequin onto your PMC, that will save you a lot of time. Cultus circle, long time, uh, long story short, is the same as the scaf case, you put some items in and cultists give you better items, supposedly, or some random items after some period of time. At the same time, 
um, there's a 25% chance that you will receive items for active tasks and unfinished times, uh, unfinished hideout zones. Um, if your sacrifice is above a certain threshold. Um, BZ changed AI in PvE. New weapons, I've shown you most of that. Um, AS Val looks different, PP Kera looks different, VSS looks different. And there is a new gun, SR3M, that is similar to Val, just more modifiable, like a new version of Val. And at the same time, there is an M60 minigun, I guess that is found in Raid. Uh, we don't have access to it yet, well, I don't. Uh, new bullets. Attachments improvements, and with some of the new attachments, you might get new animations. Animations might look different. Optical zoom, we did go through that. Uh, some of the quests are easier now, and also BSG removed the trade offers for class 6 body armor and helmets from traders. So level 6 armors are only found in raid now, you cannot buy them or trade them from the traders. Uh, on the flea market, you can buy and sell any ammunition with, with uh, less than 42 penetration. And BG increased damage of some of 7.62 and 5.45 and 9 mil calibers. Also reduced the damage of 5.56 um, slightly. Uh, there's not supposed to be any clipping anymore, like your headset is not supposed to clip through your helmet, etc, etc, etc. Some of the animations were optimized. Uh, weather is redesigned, clouds are supposed to be more realistic. FSR tech was updated to 3.0, so if you have a weak GPU, feel free to use FSR to boost your frames, see if it helps you. Uh, improve the sounds, uh, I'm not gonna go too deep into that, sounds supposed to be better, and different headsets do have uh, different sound effects, so check the heads out once again, see which ones you like better. Anti-cheat update, uh, nothing drastic, but supposed to be better. Uh, poo -poo -poo. List of changes. I don't really know if there is anything really important. Chat, did I miss anything? Uh, if I didn't, those are the main uh, changes. Check me out on Twitch. I am doing a subathon, long stream. Give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts about this wipe uh, down below. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.